that's bringing in shortcuts to manifesting your desires and activating your unique soul magic. Welcome to Abundant Universe, your go-to podcast for becoming your most empowered, powerful, abundant, truest, and highest possible self through self-mastery, quantum healing, spiritual activation, soul expansion, and ascension. Here we talk about your self-concept, subconscious beliefs, science, spirituality, mindful manifestation, magic, mysticism, remembering and embodying who you really are, and all things esoteric. I'm your friendly neighborhood self-mastery and mindful manifestation mentor, energy alchemist, quantum healer, spiritual ascension activator, and host, Elle Brandlin. And today we're talking all about the Taurus new moon this Friday, May 19th, 2023. So hang out until the end to learn everything you need to know about how it's bringing in shortcuts to manifesting your desires and activating your unique soul magic. Be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening so you never miss an episode. And if you're on YouTube, please like the video to let the algorithm know it should show it to more people who want this kind of information because you're rad like that. Happy Moon Day, by the way. Without further ado, here we go. This Friday, we have a new moon at 28 degrees and 25 minutes of Taurus at 11.53 a.m. Eastern Time, and it's actually closing out Taurus season instead of kicking it off because of the lunar cycle reversal that occurred due to the two Aries new moons we had in a row. So all new moons will now take place within the last degrees of their zodiac sign until the two Capricorn full moons in a row in 2024 flip it back to the first degrees. This reversal in energy can help you view things from a new perspective. At this time, we'll have the sun and moon conjunct initiating a new cycle, and they're both sextiling Neptune at 27 degrees of Pisces, which is new territory for Neptune because it has never been at 27 degrees of Pisces in our lifetime. And that makes this a good time to ask yourself, what dreams are you not allowing yourself to have for any reason? The moon is also sextiling Mars at 29 degrees of Cancer, so we've got two watery sextiles with Neptune in Pisces and Mars in Cancer, which admittedly may sound kind of gross, so if you're watching this on YouTube with closed captioning on, I'm not saying watery sex styles, and I'm not talking about sex dolls either, just in case that's what you're seeing on screen, because sometimes it makes that mistake, which totally changes the meaning of of what I'm talking about. But anyway, watery sex tiles have a creative, flowy energy, and water always finds the shortest path or the path of least resistance to where it wants to go, much like the universe itself. So this energy can help you find shortcuts to bring in the manifestations you're planting seeds for during this new moon. Jupiter will also be in Taurus as of tomorrow, May 16th, for the first time in 12 years and will remain there for about one year. And it will be square to Pluto retrograde, which is still in Aquarius at zero degrees. Pluto is known for transformation, evolution, and truth. And with it in its new territory of Aquarius for the first time since the late 1700s, until it temporarily transits back into Capricorn on June 11th, 2023, 
it brings us the opportunity to discover some new energies within ourselves, especially thanks to the square with Jupiter. So this is an excellent time to assert yourself in your own confidence of your value because this Taurus energy is bringing in assistance with reprogramming our self-worth. And Taurus and Aquarius are both fixed signs that help you stand strong in your value, what you have to offer the world, and your gifts, which is one of the reasons I was guided to do the Soul Magic Mastery Activation on May 25th, 2023, and a special Sacred Energetic Alchemy Code Quantum Clearing for Fear of Your Own Power and the persecution of spiritual gifts, karmic imprint during our new moon ritual in Sacred Soul Society this Friday. And I'm actually being guided to make some of the clearing available for free, at least for a limited time. So if you're on YouTube right now and want access to that, let me know in the comments. And if you're not on YouTube, you can find the link to DM me on Facebook in the show notes, and I will make sure you get the link for that. We're going to use the stubborn Taurus energy to our advantage to clear what's holding us back from standing in our power and Gemini energy to consciously activate our ancient knowledge of a skill or gift we already mastered in another lifetime that will benefit our purposes in this one. So if you're interested in that activation, please check out the show notes or description box below for the link to join SSS to get access. We also have the North Node finishing up its journey in Taurus in the next few weeks. Mercury in its shadow period until about June 1st after moving direct on May 14th, sextiling Saturn in Pisces, so another watery sextile, bringing a better understanding of what we want and are willing to commit to, as well as what we're ready to release in order to activate that special skill or gift you've already mastered in another lifetime that will help you fulfill your soul's purpose in this life. And this is also the energy of building for the long term. So this new moon is a really good time to set long term financial intentions with the strong Taurus energy as its ruler Venus is associated with money and finances. Intentions related to love and relationships are strongly supported by Venus as well. So just keep that in mind when you're setting intentions. They don't have to be around that, but if you do have some manifestations involving money, love, relationships, this is a great time to plant those seeds. And finally, we also have Uranus at 19 degrees of Taurus. So these collective energies in Taurus can bring attention to what you value and desire moving forward, and a new practical plan for making it happen may be coming together. Taurus energy is about observing and reflecting too. So another thing you may want to consider right now is what makes your life simple and gives you a sense of peace. Also, what do you want to magnetize yourself to at this time? Or what do you want to attract if you prefer that terminology? In Cancer during this time, along with Mars, we also have Venus, who, as I mentioned, rules Taurus and will heavily influence all the planets stationed there, approaching a square to Chiron in Aries, which could feel a bit uncomfy and may even trigger something that needs healing. And she's traveling behind Mars, so that could actually help clear, cleanse, and or process anything Mars is still bringing up for you after all the releasing we did during the intense eclipse corridor we just came through. 
The Venus energy is also supporting self-compassion and self-love by helping us listen to our needs and trust what feels good or doesn't feel good at this time. So this is a very healing energy. It's also important to note that the outer planets are all in new degree points during this time. So Uranus and Jupiter in Taurus and Neptune and Saturn in Pisces, which means new energy is coming forward and activating new energy signatures in your birth chart and soul blueprint, which is another reason for the soul magic mastery activation on 525. So like I said before, hit up the show notes or description box if you want in on that, as well as the new moon in Taurus intention setting ritual, plus the special C code clearing during that ritual. And all of the divinely inspired content that's already inside Sacred Souls Society that's designed to help you heal, remember and embody who the fuck you really are, how powerful you are, and what you came here to do. Or claim your spot in any of the one-to-one mentorship programs listed below because that gives you free access to everything in Sacred Souls Society during our time together. You can also gain free access to the C code clearing of fear of your own power by simply letting me know you want that. And you can find other free resources in the show notes or description box because you deserve to live in a reality of freedom, fulfillment, purpose, peace, the highest joy, excitement, magic, and abundance in every aspect of your life because that's what your soul came here to do. And I believe in you, so you should too. Much love.